It all started out with this. After some common sense, got this. As obviously. I thought it was going to end there. And then I got this. A false accusation. Something I did not expect at all. But wait, there's more. Here's even more. Oh my gosh. Feel free to pause the video at any time because I'm going to go for these pretty quickly because I do not have a lot of time. Oh my fucking gosh. Oh my gosh, yet again. Whoa, false accusations. How am I attacking people? Oh, I can see my replies, you know? Read you our replies? What the? I don't need to read that way. Uh, I don't need a shrink. Again, a corporate, sorry, a falsely accusing me of being a corporate fudge or a shill or whatever. I'm not a fucking shill. Sorry, dude. Yes, they did link an American website. Actually, no, a global website. Freelance, whatever it is, dot com. Uh, I've never heard of it. Sorry. How could I be paid to use Facebook? Or to interact on Twitter or any social media for that matter? I'm not. Prove it. Oh, wait, you can't. Because I don't do it. Oh. Look who's talking. And you're making false claims too. There's no bull crap. Um, no I don't. And how would I impact a, a rather small regional carrier by interacting with a Facebook page that is public? How? How? They ended up deleting their comment. And most of these comments you're seeing here they deleted most of them. <laughs> wow. Nope. Works fine for me. Oh yes, I am a customer. How can you be so sure I'm actually working for them directly or for a freelancer? I've never heard of that website. Yes. In your home, around your home, in a specific rural area of Vancouver, which is not perfect at all, which I did explain to you about foliage and all that. That is trees, terrain, mountains, skyscrapers, anything that can interfere with signal penetration. It's all basically shown right under the coverage map and that disclaimer, which I read when I first joined in 2011. Things have changed. A lot has since then, buddy. Oh, now they're saying I get secret cash compensation. Uh, no, I don't. I don't get paid through any other means. I work a day job. That isn't being on the computer 24-7, 365. I'm really on this, even to do this little video. Ah, uh, what does that have anything to do with this? Uh, maybe you've got issues. Wow, no. Uh, I'm not in collaboration, or sorry, collaboration with their uh, corporate headquarters. I'm not in Windsor. Sorry. And that's very far away from Toronto. Oh wait, they did move their uh, customer service call center or whatever, social media call center to, I think, Alberta. And that's very far away from here. Unrealistic. I'm not going to travel via rail just to use a computer on their social page, directly under their page to do that. It's just too far away and it's far too costly. Am I am a bit? What? A bit? What? What are you talking about? You can't prove nothing. How can I prove I am a bit? So they steal photos? This person actually steals people's photos and sells them. 
Wow. I can't believe that. They just admitted that, and then they removed the comment after. Uh, my comments contain nothing but reality, helpful advice, and however somebody takes it, it's completely up to them. It has nothing to do with anything else. Oh, yep. I'm well aware of your comments. Everybody can read them. It's a public page, remember? Oh, says who says, I am stealing? I said, no, I said, you are stealing their photos. Wow. Again, I don't work for Freedom Mobile. And, uh, if I did, I'd be under the page's name instead of using my own name. And you can't prove that. It's a false accusation. Again. How can I abuse other people's trust? Like, how the fuck? Wow. How could they make me change my Facebook account name? How? How can they do that? Explain to me. Explain that to me. Where are you getting this information from? Wonderland? Ah, more conspiracy theories towards another customer. Wow. Of course, I'm not even affiliated with them. And why don't you get it? Ah, uh, wrong again. Wrong again. In regards to me mentioning uh, chess, they deleted that comment too. Oh, now they're calling me a bot? A bot. How can I be a bot? Hello? How can I be a fucking bot? No, it's not obvious. If I was working for them, I wouldn't have used my personal account. I would have used the page directly to comment and to reply to your comments. Maybe even remove your comments if I was administrating the page. Because it's nothing but false accusations. Oh, no, it's not my job. Freedom already has their own job. They have a brilliant, beautiful, navig beautiful uh, moderation team that does a great job. And uh, they do remove comments like these. And bullshit. Because, you know, they can tell who's a troll and who's an actual customer making a legitimate complaint. I've seen it myself. How you might want to ask? Well, uh, it's pretty obvious. I don't work for them. I tried to respond to something or to like a positive or whatever the hell it was or react to it and then it was gone. Wow, they want to call Facebook directly? Oh, go right ahead. They're not going to do bollocks for another customer talking to a former customer who left for Rogers, Bell, or Telus. They're not going to do nothing. Oh yes, there are false claims. You're making them. Claiming that I work for the company and that I'm paid behind closed doors by a shady means by the company, which doesn't exist at all. I don't get paid to be on Facebook. If I did, I would not need a day job. Plus, I would be fucking bored as hell. Do you under do you not get that? They're probably mentioning some uh, mafia or law firm. They're not going to do nothing either. And I did call the person out on video. I did call them out. You can find it on the timeline. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Wow. This, they're going to hire a temporary analysis to analyze everything that I made. Every comment that I made on the entire page. Uh, good luck with that. Good, good, good lucky out with that. Exactly. I am a nobody. And they're not going to give a fuck. 
because I'm just another customer. That's it. And that part just makes any this does not make any fucking sense whatsoever. Wow. Oh beautiful. Yeah, prove that I'm meddling with their financial affairs. Yes. Go right ahead. Prove it. Prove it. Because I'm not. That is utterly, completely impossible. Wow, really? Oh yeah, file a court order. Uh, you're going to waste a lot of money doing that. And I just got to mention that I can prove that they're not paying me to even make this video to even reply and interact on the page at all. You'll be thrown out of court. Go ahead. Oh, you mean false accusations on my ass? Yes. I already was aware of that the moment I started replying. Uh, after the third time at least. After I dealt with common sense. Oh, yeah. And if someone were to block you, you wouldn't see nothing. And I did that temporarily. Now that is an insult. Oh, no they are not. I don't need a lawyer for commenting and using Facebook. The internet. Right. And you were doing the exact opposite there. I was referring to actually challenging you to a real life game of chess in a park that has a chess board. But because of the pandemic, I cannot do that because it's close contact and that's how that virus spreads. Sorry, can't have. No, there is no such evidence of the sort. It's all a delusion of yours. Another insult, and I did not bother replying at all. Uh, we are not in Russia. No, I am not a corporate loss at all. I do not work for Freedom Mobile. I am a customer. Customers do not get paid to be paying customers. If that were true, the company would no longer exist. Uh, kids don't have facial hair. They are not legally allowed to work. Much less run a company. I don't know if it's like that in other countries, but not here in Canada. And they countered my comment. Yeah. Unless you want to think of, I did put a remark about, uh, kids misusing their parents' credit card or banking information to splurge on in-game or in-app purchases and racking up huge bills or fucking up their parents work from home you know if they're working remotely they have been known to do that and I've heard of shit happening before it's no laughing matter when you get a $15,000 bill in the mail or if you get fired from the company for, you know, trying to steal money when your parents are sleeping or if they just came back drunk after the bar and you woke up to find them sleeping. Oh, yes, that's a reality. Oh, I'm not defending, defending them at all. It's called common sense. Realism and helpful advice that nobody has to take whatsoever. Oh, <laughs> that's also in response to what I mentioned previously. Last clip. I'm not even doing that at all. How can I be messing with somebody else's finances? How can I? I don't even have a track record of that at all. All I have is a track record of my own bank account transaction history of moving money between checking and savings. Rent is thrown into savings. Yes. And then taken out of savings and put into checking. 
So there is a lot of back and forth between that, but that's about all. No mysterious, dark shadow payments from a third party for me to use Facebook. Sorry, dude. She's blown out of the water. Nope, it does not. Oh. Well, no, 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 actually, they either hid your comments or they deleted them. And quite a few actually got deleted by them. And no, I did not report them because that takes way too long for Facebook to take any action. And half the time, nothing happens. Oh, that must have been an out-of-order comment because uh, I already talked about that. <laughs> I played both games. I'm pretty good when I'm not intoxicated. And during this video, I am not intoxicated at all. I am sober. Oh, this part is false. Again, you can't back up your claims. Put up or shut up. No, oh, I didn't lose at all. So, why would I have any reason to bash a company if I have absolutely no problems with my services? Answer that question, which obviously you did not bother asking. And plus, even if I did have problems, there would be no reason to bash a company. Just call in or send them a private message and get it resolved. If it takes a few days or a week, depending on the severity of it and or the complexity of it, so be it. That's just how I am. I'm really patient. Uh, I don't know about you, you probably were very impatient, and I suspect that, because there's plenty who are not patient at all. Uh, again, I do not do freelance work for any company. Sorry. How can I be bashing other customers? Again, I do not bash customers. I do not harass them. I do not openly follow their profile and comment everywhere they have commented on Facebook. If I did that, I would have smacked myself across the head many times over with a broomstick. I will not ever do that. That's stupid. Corporate collusion? Nah, nah, nah. It's, it's your fucking delusion, buddy. It is your delusion. And I did pay attention to everything. That's not the reality of my responses. That is in response to a Michael Jackson eating popcorn gif image on Facebook. I could have chosen at least 20 different ones, but that one was just the easiest to choose because it was first. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, another insult. Batman would probably kick your butt off. Uh, Robin would probably end up uh, doing something rather, I'm just not going to say, from behind. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> He'd stick that finger where the sun doesn't shine. Oh, wow. Corporate crime cops. Uh, really? Uh, I'd never heard of corporate crime cops. And, uh, where are they? Oh, where's the Facebook police? Oh, where is the internet police? I really wish I had a freaking video right fucking here, right around here, to put my reactions. I'm not going to start this shit over. I'm just not going to start it over. That's just, that's fucking pointless. Oh, now they're conspiring to make me get banned from my account? How? Are you going to use the two of your accounts, they do have two accounts, to report me to Facebook for making innocent comments and interacting on a public, interactable Facebook page that anyone can view, anyone can comment on? That's just not going to work. Nope. They're going to bury it. And that company will not do nothing about it. It is not worth their time to go after a customer 
who's done nothing wrong legally. Oh, I don't target customers on any platform specifically. It's the same thing I always do. Realism, common sense, and helpful advice. If they can't take reality checks, that's too bad. I don't expect anyone to. And obviously you've got a delusion. Oh yes there is. There is no corporate sightings in me. That's your delusions. You are making the false reports. Simple as that. Oh no I didn't forget how much I commented. Because I also get email copies of it too. Well, only your replies. I could check my, my activity log anytime and see that. But I don't feel like doing it because it's, it's, it's pointless. Oh no, it's not easy to peg me down. It's very easy because I've already pegged you down. What? How can all of those people that you, uh, that I've commented on many times on the page since 2011, how will they all resort to banning me from using a publicly interactable Facebook page? Um, let's just say that's not going to happen. Now, there's, uh, again, I'm not basically meddling with anyone's finances. I don't work for Freedom Mobile. Once again, this person is delusional, and they're thinking that me messing with their pocketbook, I'm using quotes here, and the hand gestures, that they will ban me for commenting and interacting on a public Facebook page. Not to mention defending myself from all the false accusations you have actually made against me. Yes, you are attacking another customer. You can be seen as a troll. Easily. Wow, a corporate prostitute. Oh my gosh. Wow. They're thinking I'm going to pop up with another account. Well, I only have one Facebook account. And I don't intend to use multiple sock accounts like you might. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's just not going to happen. Freedom Mobile can't, quote unquote, fire me. They can't fire me for interacting on a public Facebook page. Because I don't work for the company. And you are actually stalking me. So that's one thing that goes against Facebook's community standards. Have you not forgotten about that? Yep. You will continue to stalk me. Hence quite a temporary block. Yeah. Bulldog stalker. Simple as that. That's what you're doing. No customer has ever done that to me. Not to another customer. Actually no, only two others did that. One was a complete ableist and they ended up blocking me in other regards. And they reported them uh, to Facebook and they likely got their account yanked because it was deliberate harassment and they threatened to kill me. Yes, they actually did. Oh no, there's no huge history of me siding of quote unquote Corporate. I'm not that simple minded. My mind is actually incredibly complex. More complex than yours would be. See? See what? Yep. They made a false accusation and I immediately defended that and mentioned they're accusing me of being paid to be a paying customer. The person is simply not going to bother responding anyway because they know this person is delusional. All they have to do is just look for the threats. So you're suggesting your personal army is going to go against me? You only have two accounts. Are you going to make more accounts to try and report my account on Facebook? Uh, you're breaking the community standards right there. As a final remark, I'm just going to simply say they are very unbelievably delusional and they have to seek help. I don't know how many other customers 
they've harassed and accused on any other carrier they jumped ship from that were positive. As you know, satisfied positive customers rarely ever comment on a page or interact. And they probably went after them and guess what? They probably got told many other things and they probably got blocked too.